Hey, so we have arrived at the last of these battles uh, for now. These have been fun. Uh, these, these collector boxes have been a really good time, really good run. <clears throat> so this is going to be our last box battle of this for now. They'll be sprinkled in from this point forward, but this will be the last of like the initial run. So this is number seven. How this box battle does work is we've got four participants. Each one's going to get three packs out of the box. We're going to add up the mana value of all their rares and mythics. Whoever has the highest total and whoever has the lowest total wins one of those additional collector packs I threw on the side. Ties will be determined based off whoever has the single highest casting cost mythic. And if that doesn't do it, whoever has the single highest casting cost rare. That's the game. So let me finish shuffling them up and we'll go from there. Um... One thing about, I, I, t I tend to have, so, you know what, let me just do the setup first. So, Zachary, three packs. Rico, three packs. Jocelyn, three packs. And Matt, three packs. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. I do have a tendency to film, like, on a, I might have a day off and film, like, three to six videos in a day. Sometimes more, uh, very seldomly, but... So unfortunately, sometimes I, I miss commenting on like things of like price spikes or things like that. Um, at the time of this filming, a Traxa just shot up to like 40 bucks for the showcase. I did not see that coming, but I guess it just became an extremely popular uh, uh, target for, uh, <laughs> for recursion in, in Legacy, I think. Anyway, Zachary, first pack. Here we go. We got a mite. Skrell's Hive in Foil. Nice pull. The uh, kind of bitter blossom. Yeah, let's go with that. That's a two. Gain, uh, sorry, Geth, Thane of Contracts. So you are at a five so far. We got the Sawblade Scamp, Step in Complete. Scourge, Canker Bloom. Roar of Resistance. So that is a seven so far. Mind Splice Apparatus. You're up to an 11. Invictive Fla Vindictive Flame Stoker for a 12 for a super tiny casting cost pack. Still smashing words together, I see. Rico, what happens when you literally spend the entire day talking, get home from work, decide to film a video? Which is actually what I'm doing today. So today's kind of like a one off, not doing it in a whole series of videos. Okay, Rico, we got the Argentum Masticore in a 5. Kaya, so you're already at a, a 12. We got Throwing Bird in the step. Incomplete. Ambassador Fisher. Glistening Sphere. So you're at a 15. Zenith Chronicler for a 17. And a Zenith Chronicler for a 19. I hope you like artifacts. <clears throat> you just got all of them. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw... You know, they, the Master Core seems like... I gotta, I gotta try playing with that sometime. Seems neat. Alright, Jocelyn. Oh, let me write that down. Get ahead of myself here. Hold on. Yep, 19. So you have a 19 in your first pack, Rico. Alright, Jocelyn, your first pack. We got a Mite. Otari, Otari, in the Extended Art Foil, that's a 5. Azuri, okay, you're at a 9 already. Cultivator in Step and Complete, Canker Bloom, Ambassador. Clever Concealment, great card. Uh, if I was paying attention, you're at a 13. Mirren's Safe House for a 16. And then Rhea Ivor for a 20. Pretty big casting cost pack overall. Okay, Matt, you are up. Ta the Tablet of Completion for a two. Dark Slick Shores, you're still at a two. Urbrask Anointer, Punisher, Scamp. Lux Artillery, so you're at a six. Seven after a green sun's twilight. And then Malira for a nine. 
Oh, now that in Shieldred's Edict, that's the tiniest uh, pack I've had in this, in these battles. All right, so we did so that first round. Um, we have a lot of mythics to come. That that's what I'm going to take out of the first round here. Uh, we got Zach, Zachary at a 12, Rico's in a 19, Jocelyn's in the high at a 20, and Matt's in a low at a 9. Zachary, your next pack. Here we go. We got a Mike Boy. Another Geth, so that is a 3. Mythic! Hey, Jace, cool. Okay, so we got Manga Jace. So that is a 7. And Graz! I know it's not the biggest hit, but that like that artwork already looks cool. And then you combine that with the step and complete. That's a cool looking card. Hold on a second. As I have discussed in previous videos, these steps and completes, um, you know, you can get them a little oiled up. And, uh, and then you gotta clean them, and over time that'll probably become tougher. So, make sure I sleeve that up. That's an eight, so you are at a 15 so far. Cultivator, Rat, Norn's Choir Master. So you're at a 20. Yeah, you're racking them up here, aren't you? Hold on. Let me just make sure that is correct. That is. That is a 20. <laughs> and then, of course, you're going to go tiny. But a great pull. Venerated Rot Priest here at a 21. And the Filigree Silex for a 23. All right. That was a good pack. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw the grass on top. So you're at a 35 so far, Zachary. Oops. Okay, Rico, you are up. Super stretchy pack material on that one. All right. Urtet in the foil borderless. Cool. That is a three. You got Kaito. So you're also at a seven after two cards. Mirror Convert, Stepping Complete, Rat, Scamp, Contaminant Grafter, so what is that, is that a 12 so far? That is a 12 so far. Vindictive Flame, <laughs> Vindictive Flame Stoker, that's a 13. And the Seed Core, okay, you're at a 13. You're at 32 so far, Rico. But, good hit with your tet. Alright, Jocelyn. Kethic for a five, sorry, four. Come on. Rhea Ivor. So you're at an eight so far. Hey, okay. And then we got Rhea Ivor. So you're at a 12. One to collect, one to play with. Mirror Convert, Scourge. Chris Goria and its massive casting cost. Uh, hold on. What is, what is, what are we at? So we were at a 12. Oof, so we're at a 21 already? Wow. <laughs> okay. And then a Seed Core, of course, of course. So 21. And another Mythic? Hey, all will be one. There's a Mythic I never see since it didn't come in all kinds of other versions. Uh, that is a 26 in that pack. Sheesh. You're at a 46 so far, Jocelyn. You're running away with that high. You know what? I'm going to put the all the one on top. Okay, Matt. So you have a nine going into this pack. Red Sun's Twilight for a two. Extended our foil. Jorka Dean for another two. So you're at a whopping four. Mythic, Fraska! <laughs> Stepping complete Fraska. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's got a line right there. I mean, they, again, they all do, so I'm just looking. Okay, hold on. Monster hit. To me, it's, it's like one of the best plane walkers that came with out with in a long time. I'm probably wrong, but... Um, <clears throat> so what do you got? So you're at a 10 so far. Just one more look. 
Sweet. Okay. Fisher, Fisher. Wormquake. So you're up to a 16 now. This is not how you keep the low. Blade of Shared Souls. You're at a 19. And another Mythic and Jace to finish off the pack. So you're at a 23 in that pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. So you're also at a 32, Matt, after that giant... I don't, I don't know if you're trying to catch up, but nonetheless, two Mythic pack. One of them being a step in complete Vraska. Huge. Okay. After two rounds, <clears throat> we've got Zachary at a 35. Rico and Matt are actually tied for the low at a 32. And Jocelyn's in the high at a massive 46. All right, Zachary, last pack. Let's see how this is going to go. Oops. Let's get out of there. All right, got a Phyrexian Might. The Strike Force, never a card I am looking to see. That is a three. Internal Wanderer, though, that's better. So you're at a nine so far. Fisher in the step. Scamp. Rat. Serum Sovereign. Okay, so you are at a 14. Yep, 14. Blue Sun's Twilight. So you're at a 16. And a Mind Splice Apparatus for a 20. So that's a big 55. We'll see if that is enough. Okay, Rico. So you're at a 32 going into this pack. All right, might. Blade of Shared Souls for a three. Sea Chrome Coast. Really, I, I enjoy that artwork myself. That is stays at a three. Sinew Dancer. Step Incomplete. Fisher. Thorming Bird. Oh, nice. Another Urtet. Cool. So that is a six so far. And then a Master Core. Okay, you're at an 11. And then a Red Sun's Twilight. So that is a 13. That is a low score this late in the game. That puts you at a 45, Rico. You're not complete. Wait, is that your second Urtet? Sure it is. You got two Urtets. One to collect, one to play. I did shuffle the cards. All right, Jocelyn, you're at a 46. Current high is a 55. You're already out of the low. All right. Jor Kadeen, that's a two. Slow Bad for a five. Canker Bloom. Rod Priest, Cultivator. Guess Summons, so you are at a nine. Monument to Perfection, you're at an 11. And Vran for a 13. So that puts you at a 59, Jocelyn. You're still in the high. You haven't won the high yet. That pack was pretty pretty low. But nonetheless, you're at a 59. Last pack, Matt. So Matt, you're at a 32. Current low is a 45. Current high is a 59. Seacrum Coast, again, that time in the foil. Nice. Ah, Drivnod, nice. Love that card. All right, that is the five. Rat. Anoiter. Rat. Raj Mockery, so you're at an eight. Bloated Contaminator, Extended Art, that's cool. Uh, so that is an 11. And Kemba for a 13. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did we tie? We tied. We tied for the low. You know, I, for a long time, I never really needed the tie clause. And in this set, it seems to be happening a lot. Okay. So, we got Zachary, 55. Rico, 45. Jocelyn, she's in the high at a 59. And Matt, 45. Whoever has the single highest cast, casting cost, Mythic first. Which 
is so far. No mythics. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, Vraska's going to take it. Vraska, Drivnod. You actually got a bunch of them. Jace. All right, and Matt takes the low. So, Jocelyn, Matt, prize packs. I always do the low first. Matt, you are up. Seed core. The seed core. Kefik. Quicksilver Fisher. Fisher. Scourge. Roar of Resistance. All right, come on. Something cool. Argentum Masticore. And Black Sun's Twilight. Well, you did still get the hit of the box. That is for sure. And then Jocelyn. Monument to Perfection, Geth, Scamp, Ambassador, Throwing Bird, Urtet, <laughs> third Urtet in the video. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay. Bloated Contaminator, and Miglaws. And that's going to be all she wrote. Thanks for watching, folks. This is the last of the battles for now. Um,. Then we'll start moving into some other things for a little bit. And when's the next set come out? Do we actually have an honest to God break? Is that where we're at right now? We're, we're in a break between sets? Oh, you know what that means. You better start preparing yourselves for some Masters Box videos. Because that's what's going to happen now. Thanks for watching. Bye.